What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Another Identity of Fate, a Z, a row. Um, tonight on episode 23 of this fatey little show. Um, you might be asking yourself if you just came from last episode or like I've been like thinking like, yo, where's this episode at? Last episode, I may have said Fate Friday, Fate Friday, and I might be recording this on the Tuesday after the supposed Fate Friday, which is, you know, Friday to Saturday to Sunday to Monday. To, that's about four days, um, four days late, you know, so, so depending, depending on when this episode drops, it's, it's, it's no longer Fifth Friday, it's gonna be Iskandar Tuesday, Iskandar Tuesday, or Waver Wednesday, oh my goodness, wait, do I delay the episode an extra day just so I can have it be on Waver Wednesday, holy crap, y'all, it might be Waver Wednesday, we'll see though, um, I'll try to get out fast, we'll see, maybe, you know, I might get copyrighted, you know how it goes, anyways though, shut up, uh, um, we're watching just 23, I don't know if we're gonna watch 24 and 25 together or not, but I will, believers in, believers rally in the comments, I will, it will be on Friday. The next one will be on Friday. You gotta trust me on this one, okay? It doesn't matter if I have failed you 30,000 times in the past, you trust me for the next one. You know what I mean? That sounds healthy. Anyways, boom, this is comments. Did I already pull this up? I don't think so. But, um, comments for last episode. Last, so last episode was pretty much the greatest. Uh, it was basically Waver and Iskandar having the best moment of all time together. Uh, this is a pretty good kind of breakdown of that. Uh, this was a good point, so let me just read a little bit of this comment. So the fact a regular guy with no magical ability was able to completely break through his hypnosis spell, Wavers, uh, is essentially portrayed as the last straw for Wavers' self-esteem. He essentially comes to the conclusion that the guys of the Clock Tower were right to mock him, and so he decides he's not worthy to be a Skandar's master, hence the using of all three command cell spells to free him. Which is absolutely true. Um, I didn't even... It's, it's crazy. I didn't really even fully realize that, like, the bro breaking out of the hypnosis is, like, that's actually such an L, right? Like, obviously he did, but for him to break out, it's, like, like, even Wa Waver can't even cast, like, that much. And so the one thing that he has been, like, abusing, he's done, like, two magical things. He's hypnotized people for shelter, and he has used, like, the basic mana formulas to, like, track the water, you know? Those are, like, the most magical things he does. So for one of them to just stop working because the guy breaks through is really depressing. Um, but it also... The, the, what it leads to with Iskandar and Waver, like, locking it in and just the bromance completely flourishing makes it all okay. Because it's... Bro, it's what I've been saying all along of the bond between servant and master master and kind of air quotes now with their relationship that relationship is so important and i value that so highly um period i mean that's pretty my i think i said two i was said i was going to say two things i'm just going to say that one thing um so i really yeah but that's that's a cool thing to point out specifically um emia emia's so this comment it says like he pretty much has given up on his search for eerie because he thinks his emotions are getting the better of him so now he's just laying traps and like holding up the side at the temple the crazy thing about that it's like brother Saber. You have literally... Like, I know you're gonna use the command spells as needed with Saber, so he's probably just thinking, like, my relationship with her is kaput. I'ma just... I'ma just say, Saber, come help me out, please, whenever, like, I get freaked out. That is so depressing. I mean, like, what happens when... Freaking, like, I guess... I guess that's exactly what happens. Like, if Gilgamesh pulls up, or Iskandar pulls up, on top of Emiya, and Emiya's like, I'm holding this site, you know? Gilgamesh is just gonna go... Mm, arrow rain uh, have all my treasures and by have i mean have them into your spleen that's just what gilgamesh is gonna do right and so emia is forced no matter what saber's doing to call saber to save him and then what's saber gonna do saber's gonna save him and be like all right well i'm gonna go back for looking for eerie what's he gonna do cast it again like like it's just so not sustainable i feel like he is just he's in such a bad position now um especially when we have freaking Gide, who is out here on a um, I want to, like, mentally torture people, especially Emiya. He wants to, what, grab the grail and, like, shatter it in front of him just to say, like, <laughs> That's, wait, that's actually funny. Wait, I'm starting to get his jokes, bro. I feel like Kira is kind of a jokester, bro. He's really gonna just grab the grail in front of him and be like, Oh, you wanna save everybody's life? You wanna make all the, uh, the people you've killed actually, like, amount to something? All the sacrifices you've made? Oh, oh it's, it's right here. Kink! Like, that's good move. You gotta respect- I, Dude, Kide has grown on me. Kide is a fun character, bro. Um, should be noticed, mentioned the light novel, Waver's not aware here if- if Kaneth is alive or dead. That's good to know. Cause yeah, why would he be? Uh, I mean, sometimes, like, the people- some people have, like, kind of had methods to figure that out. Or, like, to track or whatever. Waver doesn't. It's Waver. Shout out, Waver. But, um, true about Gilgamesh. That was kind of a little bit more there. Dun 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 dun. Berserker's identity and that Gil's- um, outlook on Berserker has changed as a result. 
and then a little bit of blacked out text. Ooh, the, ooh, the spooky. And then you may have talked about before, but I'm just missing, um, and I've just missed it, but do you plan on continuing onto another Fate series straight after finishing Zero? And if so, do you know which one? Because I do sort of have some thoughts on the subject. Um, do I plan on it? No. Am I going to do it? I don't know. I have no plans, okay? Your boy rides by the seat of his pants, all right? My plan, to improvise. Um, I would be very intrigued on your, on comments on that, right? Um, Phase Zero has been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it more than I thought I would. So, you know. Um, though the, the reason, I think the, a lot of people are like originally saying like, oh, do a light novel first. Light novel, I've only ever played one light novel before. I'm not going to self-report which one because y'all would make fun of me for it. But, uh, yeah. So that's just a, that's a precursor. That's it. Maybe I'll give you a little something to work with, but yeah, that's, I, I don't have any plans, but I am, um, ready to hear, like if people want to comment about that, I would be very happy to hear what you say or join the discord and you can talk about it there. That's in the description. Okay. Um, Peak incoming one episode at a time would be really cool. All of them have planned to talk about. That, that is an interesting thought. I don't know if we're going to finish this Fate Friday or next Fate Friday, but it's going to be within a, a week and a half-ish. We're going to be finishing the show, which is really exciting. Um, this talk about Kiritsugu believing in the grail is kind of like the ultimate like irony in a sense. Um, we're, we're basically this thing right here. For all his hard-boiled calculating pragmatism front, deep down, like Saber said, he really does, does the same type of hero work who put his hope in idealistic romanticism like the grail uh hypocritical there's the word i was looking for too it's sort of hypocritical how he has faith in the girl blindly when he went on and on about saber fighting for some nebulous chivalry but that's kind of the point yeah 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 yeah. um the thing about that is like narratively think about this narratively um i i agree it's kind of the point that he is chastising his very own behavior he is hypocritical um i do not see a hypocrite making it in a successful way i think like i feel like you will get there's like a, th a thematic layer, right? Where like, you will get hoed if you kind of are hypocritical. Does that make sense? Or like, if you have like ideals, but there's a flaw in your ideals, then in a sense, you will be punished for that, right? And that's kind of like a narrative structure thing as opposed to like a more literal in-world thing. Um, but that's why I feel like Kyure has been on a continual, like he's been... Wor like worsening his relationship with saber over and over while holding on to the grail thing that it really like as much as it literally worsens his ability to get the grail like logistically where he doesn't have saber as a as an effective tool nearly to like the amount she could be as much as it literally does that it makes me think that narratively he like he kind of can't succeed because he is a hypocrite so he i feel like the end of his character arc would be in a sense being called out for how hypocritical he's been and then it'd be like a tragedy, right? Where he's he's sacrificed. I mean, that's so depressing, bro. Because his he's an ends justify the means character, right? The end justifies the mean. I will shoot my adoptive mother if it if the end of saving people is worth it. But what if the mean doesn't equal the end? What if you sacrifice people? What if you push people away? What if you give up on Eerie? What if you Maya dies? You know, what if you do all these things, put all these people into danger, you know, fail people in all these different ways because you're saying, oh, it's for the end goal, it's for the end goal, and then you don't get the end goal, then you did it all for nothing because it was all bad, right? He's already agreed that what he's doing is bad. It's the evil, he's playing the evil part. And so when he's doing all the evil, if it doesn't work out, then it all falls apart. And that is just going to happen. And it's just going to be so fun to watch. You know? <laughs> That's the crazy thing. Like, I I actually like Emiya's character quite a bit. A couple of people have been like, like you know, saying like, like L Emiya in a sense. I've actually quite enjoyed Emiya's character. Um, I think the my, my favorite thing I could see is it all crashing down on him. Because in a sense, like, like that just kind of feels like the natural ending of his arc. Um, where he gets, and in a sense, he'd be like getting narratively hoed for his behavior. And that is, it's, it's just so, oh, that's just so tantalizing. Bro, I'm in a tantalizing mood or like a tantalized mood. I'm not trying to tantalize you. I'm, I'm being tantalized right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, this episode about a schmack. Oh, this, I'm about to be uh, feasting on this episode, bro. Okay. But, um, this is true. Saber also refused to use her other hand. I assume you're talking about the fight with Lancer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there was like a, that's another reason why she might've like not succeeded, succeeded as well. Um, which would be like why Emiya would be more inclined to like jump in. And then this line also when used for a goal, the servant agrees with command spells will still give a power boost. So I'm pretty sure they were still useful. You're talking about waiver here, right? Waiver using them up. You want me to tell you the crazy thing? 
if they give a power boost when the goal aligns with the servant's wishes, then guess what? Waver did. He gave Iskandar the three biggest wishes that Iskandar agrees with. In a sense, by doing this, has he given Iskandar a like permanent boost? You know what I mean? Where he, I feel like the bromance plus the command has has fueled into the command spell. And if it is true that there is a power boost when the servant agrees with the goal, then like maybe it's only temporary or something. But I feel like him dropping all three on Iskandar, Iskandar is locked into three. Like their mindsets are so aligned. How could he not get a mana boost? You know, or like at least the mana that he pulls from Waver, I feel like that mana would be like so hyper efficient because the bromance would crystallize it into like pure ethereal mana. My goodness, yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, this ep last episode, episode twenty-two, really great episode. Um, I just again absolutely love this. It's enough to make a grown man cry, bro. I'm gonna watch it one more time, and then we're gonna watch the new episode. And yeah, him saying, like, only the strong can continue. Yeah, he's obviously calling himself weak. He doesn't think he's worthy. A hundred percent. Like, th only the strong can continue. Therefore, you continue and I don't. But then what does Iskandar do? He says, you're coming with me. Which is to say, Waver, you're strong too. And we're strong together. You're my equal. It's so good. And I love how I have been, like, advocating for this all along. And then it pays out, bro. I actually have become a millionaire off of Waver. Waver, dude, it was like I bought into Apple early on, bro. I bought into Waver when I thought he was going to be a light Yagami, bro. I thought he was about to be like, I may be, have a weak bloodline, but I'm cunning. And then Waver just sucks. But, but then I ended up being like, oh no, I invested in the wrong character. But then it was like, but wait a second, the character arc. And it's all paid off. Holy crap. The dividends, the dividends, the dividends. Like, look at this. My bank literally, this line gave my bank $7.8 million. Boom, straight into my account. Right here. Oh, what is this? $15 million. Bam, right into my bank account. Oh, 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 more money? My dividends are paying out more? Holy shit, $372 million. Boom. And then what does Iskandar do? He gives me another mill. I love this guy, bro. It's so good. So yeah, um, if Waver dies, I will ball like a baby. Anyways, um, Waver, I've said, last time I'll say it, Waver and Iskandar, I hope they win. I hope they win. Next up for kind of who, like, in, in a sense, should win, Gilgamesh and Kire, I, you know, it's, it's kind of juicy because they, they're on the same wavelength and I value the wavelength so much. I think that is so good. Also, Eerie and the cup thing and freaking Prisma Illa is going to be a cup one day. What, what would you put in? Whoa. <laughs> okay. 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 Dude, that, that, that's a bug. Never mind. Anyways, if she was a cup, like, like, shut up. Okay. We're going to the next episode. Nope. 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 We need a new subject. All right. New episode. My goodness, gravy, God. All right. Um, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> okay. So I'm checking the audio to make sure I don't... Oh, see, it was on English. See, this is why I check these things, y'all. Episode 23, the C at the blah, blah, blah. I didn't read the rest. Let's get this going. Um, Episode 23, I'm very, very excited. Let's get this going. In a three, a two, a one. <laughs> Lock in. Emiya's mental state is currently in so much turmoil, bro. Just imagine what's going on in his head right now. He's <laughs> gonna just rides back on a horse. <laughs> what is that? Oh, shit. It's natural to be scared. Yes! And he admits his fear because it's... No, that's a good thing, bro, because he's willing to admit it. His pride, his his problematic pride, he has just he's moved past. And then he that was a that was a good line too about it being exciting. I really like that line. Like like maybe I should pretend it's exciting like you do. Oh man. The waiver character development. I love this kid. Saber. I recognize a motorcycle purr. Saber's purring, saber's purring. On her like her motorcycle is.
Berserker, I mean, maybe could jump her. Yeah. I mean, if Gilgamesh is on, on waiver, then Berserker's got to be on Saber, you know? So, that's just a natural. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, bro? Kide is just standing around. I don't know what. I think he was watching Emiya, it kind of looked like. Uh, Gilgamesh is fighting Waver and Ryder. Saber's... So, it's like, bro, Emiya might be a, like... Like, everyone's fighting and Emiya's just chilling. Yeah? Like, what happens if Saber loses? Then Emiya has nobody. That's actually so true, bro. If Saber gets jumped by Berserker and loses, which I don't think would happen at all, but assume, let's say that does happen, yeah? Saber gets killed in one of these fights. Emiya, what? You're just... It's just over for you, bro. Because you will not win against somebody else if they have a servant and you do not. Like, that is such a lose. Rip Lancer. Rip Lancer might go. Lancer really got hoed. Dang, I bet people were freaking out about all this when, it, this, when the, these were dropping. Wait, how old is this show? It feels like, I can feel a, like a tiny bit of dating, but like, that's not even a bad thing. It's more that you can feel like, you know, current animes feel a little, a little different. So I can feel the dating. I still really like it. I, I still think the animation has been pretty clean overall. But, bro, I can just imagine these episodes dropping and like everybody losing their mind with a Kide, like backstabbing Tokiomi, bro. All the Emiya fanboys. All the Waver lovers. I know Waver was the most popular character. No, that's not true. Only true intellectuals can admire Waver as much as I do. Oh my goodness. See, these characters are lit. See, they're just drinking. I love these guys. Ooh, 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 that's good mentality. It's like an adrenaline boost in a sense. He knows he's got to lock in and that gives him a boost. That's some real, that's some real. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be so mad if Iskandar loses. I mean, he's, dude, this is the type of battle royale I'm looking for. Where like, I, I honestly... Okay, let me shut up. They're about to lock in. Okay. And conquer the world together? But um isn't a fool. He's kind of confirmed that. Thing. That was a conversation we had previously. Ooh. I n remember somebody told me about that lore for that. That's some, that's crazy. And talking about his one friend. Nah, I I love that they 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 given a respect to each other like that. Oh shoot, oh, that. yo, that's hard. Oh, that's hard though. Oh, that's hard. Oh, when it teams, they start fighting. No, okay, that would have been cool. Like where they throw it up and then it tinks and then they do like a quick draw. Anyways. Maybe they kill each other. Okay. Let me shut up. Yo, we're using it. We're using it. Yo. Oh no, bro. They're about to be tapped after this fight. Whoever the winner is is about to be tapped. I'm thinking, what if they kill each other and then 
Kire doesn't have a command servant to use with Emiya, and then Emi and Kire get to have their 1v1. Yo, this is about to be crazy. I'm not ready. Yo, I'm locked in! I'm still- I'm, Okay, okay, shut up. Is this Gondar the greatest character in all of fiction? Think about it. Sorry, okay, let's- let's calm down. Dude, Waver on the front lines? Waver leading the charge on the horse? And they're about to- dude, I'm literally getting flashbacks to, like, another anime. I'm not gonna say which, though. Spoilers. <laughs> Alright, here it comes, here it comes. Charge, my soldiers! <laughs> And Berserker's just bombing Saber. Way to, uh, the energy is so different. One's in this cool, like, desert space with an army, and then this one's in a parking garage with a gun. With a sniper. Bro's got a sniper. Alright, well, he's lost his sniper. He's, like, what is going on? <laughs> a knight that uses guns, bro. The gun knight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he's using up all a bunch of mana. Yeah, what are you even gonna do anymore, bro? Isn't your psyche like shattered? You're just gonna die in a corner, yeah? Are you hallucinating? This guy's lost it. Yes, shattered psyche. He's over. Oh, he's hallucinating her, Sakura, or whatever. Oh, you are teaming up. Wow. He believed him. I thought I thought there would be no way he would believe him. He's talking about Kire. But he's desperate. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. Ow! I saw his fingernails breaking. Ow. Yeah, that guy's- dude, 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 it's so bad, bro. Man, I can't believe- dude, I always thought, like, Saber would win no matter what, she's the main character. But, like, with Kire being such a mess, I'm so unsure now. Wow, this is crazy, bro. Oh, she's shoulder charging with a tr My goodness! <sighs> Yo. Ooh, through the truck? Eh, glance. Damn. They making use of this parking garage. What? Oh, he caught it! He did- This guy. That's just mean. He's gonna try to take Excal Excalibur. Don't let him, bro. That's like his thing. What do you mean? Of course he can see it, bro. It's always freaking got s smoky coming out of it. Well, I'm kind of trolling. Don't worry about it. Oh, shit. Oh, no, bro. Another late... Another late game twist is about a ho us. Bro, he's not, he's not an Oathbreaker, right? He'll do it? He'll admit it? Oh, oh, oh. Big reveal. She recognizes him immediately, too. Oh my god, it's now she, her psyche's gonna be shattered. How did Berserker end up as an endgame? And... Explain. What did you do to this guy? Did you hoe this guy? Was he like, what happened? It was, no. Oh, it's like what?
what happened to him? I unironically, it, it very quickly went through my mind while all that shit was happening, but I can't believe this actually, I can't believe it's real. Because, yeah, why? Oh my goodness, she's trying to talk him down. He's not listening. What happened to you, brother? Because I was thinking Lancelot was the homie. I always thought Lancelot and King Arthur were homies. Oh. <sighs> Iskandar, bro. Iskandar, bro. I love this out of Saber, bro. It's it's her again, like, taking it on herself, which is, like, all she does. But she's like, man, that self-doubt is going to be so hard for her to overcome in this fight. Unite dreams? Well said. That's so facts. A million ants is nothing to a man type beat what the what is that when the dreamer wakes oh my goodness he's got like a, that's how they made the pyramids bro i don't know what that is but that's how they made the pyramids did you just like scan the environment and like Crack it? What'd you do? Oh, oh, he's got a scary one. <laughs> he's got the he's got the ultimate sword, bro. That's Aleph level, bro. <laughs> a stage worthy of you? I love how they're respecting each other, but I'm scared. It's like a sound wave attack. Oh, that's going to be bad. It's AoE, bro. We do not want to be dealing with AoE right now. Oh, that's also really bad for AoE. He's breaking apart your reality in marble, bro. He hacked into it. He hacked the mainframe. Dude, what's going on with Lancelot, though? Anti-world and noble phantasm? Is that like a? Th I don't know what those words mean. They're kind of. Ah, uh, yeah, we got countered. We got hard countered. This is really bad. Actually, got hard countered. Wait. Can we like absorb their dream essence to power us up? Is that please? What do you think of that, Iskandar? Ooh, solemn. He's solemn about it. Wow, he just dispelled the reality marble that fast. That's so anticlimactic and very bad for us. This is really... Oh, shit. Ryder's gonna die, bro. This is like red... F this is like death flag. The full name. The master becomes the servant. Yo. He just throws him at Gilgamesh at full speed. Human projectile. <laughs> oh my, Iskandar's so dead. No, bro. He said my dream stays with you now. He's passing the torch to Waver. He's passing the torch to Waver. Oh no, Iskandar's dead here. Can you take Gilgamesh out, please?
No, bro. If we did not just job to Gilgamesh. My stock market can't handle that. I still haven't, it, like, I still... I still haven't got liquidated my assets, bro. If we crash right now, my money's gone. Good line. And now we got Waver watching. Come on, Waver boost, Waver boost. Come on. It's just you versus every holy artifact in his arsenal after he countered you and all your men in one move. Oh, your horse is not going to make it. Come on, Mounted Combatant, brother. Oh, he didn't have Mountain Combatant or else he would have taken that attack. Dude, Gilgamesh is scary. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh, he's actually a death charge. What can you get out of it, though, bro? Made it to him. <laughs> Why does he have chains? No... That's what I'm saying. He's got every move in the book. He's got too much shit. Ah, oh, that's really bad too. <sighs> the kill shot. But you keep dreaming. Come on, keep dreaming. No, no, not yet. Not like this. Not like this. That sounds like a last line. You will never tire of it. That kind of hit, that kind of hit real good with his character, bro. The sea, the sea, the sea. Oh, good cut. Yeah, yeah, it was, that's, that's what I was, that's why they brought that in. That was so good. No, bro. We job to Gilgamesh. No, 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 I thought it was over, over. It's no, 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 Nothing worth risking your life for. Oh, damn right, Waver. <sighs> oh, and he puts respect on Waver's name. This is literally me right now. I am Waver Velvet. What is this quoting? I recognize it, but I don't... What's the quote? That's just Bible, yeah? Walk through the shadow of the valley of death. I don't even know. 
Her corpse is in a theater. This is like a prayer. This is some sort of prayer, yeah. My goodness, we're so hoed. There's no more good endings left. We actually just lost. I can't believe that. I mean, I don't even want to see your ass. I don't want to- I don't care. <laughs> God damn it. Let's go on to our brother. He did not just get hard countered. Like, like, his coolest ability I've ever heard of gets one shot hard countered by an artifact that I've never even heard of that built the pyramids. And he just says, okay, now we're going to unbuild the pyramids. He takes it all back. Destroys the reality marvel. And Iskandar does a death charge and doesn't even get to hit him. Because of chains. So now all I get, at least he got like, respect. He got some Gilgamesh respect. But now what? Saber's gonna... F it's crazy. About the Lancelot thing, it, it actually... I, you don't have any reason to believe me, but just trust me. It flashed through my skull, the word Lancelot, when we were building up. And I was... And I thought to myself, like... Like, oh no, there's that wouldn't make any sense. Right? Because I was thinking, like, who, who would she know? And the only other character that has to do with, like, King Arthur that I know of is Lancelot, right? I don't know any of the other... The table. So that's the name that flashed to my mind. But then I was thinking, but Lancelot's supposed to be chill with Arthur, I thought. So, like, I don't... There would have to be some crazy lore I'm unaware of. Well, looky here. It seems that that is exactly what happened. I don't need to see the extra... The, the end credits here. So that's crazy. And I guess that's actually... It's not even, like, a crazy, like, 500 IQ call of mine that I had. And, I, and it was, again, completely mental. Because who else would it be, honestly, right? Some other, like, 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 people know Lancelot and King Arthur. That's all the ones that people know. So if you're gonna have somebody from the round table, it's gonna be Lancelot. That just makes sense. But it's crazy, because I thought it for a moment, and I thought, and I thought, but, like, maybe, there's no way, right? Surely it's some someone else, or maybe, I don't really know the lore. Maybe, bro, maybe the King Arthur Lancelot lore is actually kind of, like, maybe they, maybe King Arthur did ho Lancelot, and I'm unaware of it or something. Hmm, so that's, yeah, I mean, that's really cool, though, and I'm really excited to see, I, it sucks that bro's just, all he can say is, Arthur, 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 so we're not actually, like, <laughs> we're not getting anything. <laughs> it, we're just, we're so losing right now. Bro, is it really just gonna end poorly? We're gonna just lose. We actually have just lost. It's, Emiya's gonna lose against Kire. Or, like, like, Saber's not doing well against Berserker because her spirit has is, is been interrupted. So now she has two battles to win. She's got to calm her spirit and win the battle. That's a debuff, right? So that's going to be tough for her. Um, Iskandar's dead. Thanks. Uh, Waver's out of the picture. At least he lived. At least he lived. All right, shout out Waver for that. He was commanded to live on. Bro, if there's a time skip, please tell me Waver time skip is the best. He's gotta be. He's gotta be. These lines are super good too. I need to go through them again. But yeah, like our status report, we are losing everything. I thought the good ending would be Waver and Iskandar getting the grail. We have fallen from grace. My, I, I thought I was a millionaire. I've lost, I, I literally had everything invested in Waver coin. Um, we've gone from like, like the market, it's not dead. It didn't crash, but it went down a lot. Cause Waver lives on. So it's still, you know, but man, you know what? I was investing in Waver coin, not a Skondar coin. Because Iskandar is a sister company, it did cause Waver coin to take a dip, but Waver lives on. So actually, I think my investments will be okay. But like still though, it's just not good. Um, so yeah, Waver's out of the picture. That leaves Korea, who is just mentally gone. Berserker, who is just um, King Arthur, King Arthur, King Arthur, King Arthur, right? Uh, so them two are just complete wild cards. And then we got Saber and Emiya, who don't like each other and aren't going to team up at all. And then what? Saber versus Gilgamesh? Yeah, Gilgamesh just wins those, does he not? Especially if Saber doesn't have support from Emiya. <laughs> like, like, or like, Saber and Gilgamesh are fighting? Kyrie's just going to walk up to Emiya and go, Shink, 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 shink. I just, like, like... <laughs> Like, I feel like Emmy is gonna lose and Kira is gonna win now. 
Because there's no way. I mean, maybe Korea. No, Korea can't win. Bro, Emiya's going to lose. And, and yeah, Kyoto's going to get the grail. Kyoto's going to get the grail. It's over for us. Uh, and luckily, he's just going to say, hey, hey, He's going to, like, piss in it and then break it over his knee. And he's going to throw the broken cup at Emiya and be like, ha, better luck next time. Better luck next, Holy War. And then he's going to say, oh, wait. And then he's going to stab him in the face and be like, I guess there's no next war for you. I thought we were going to get a cool... Because I was thinking, okay, we're getting this lit charge. This is about to be the sickest thing of all time, right? And I was thinking he was going to start, like, throwing things. We're going to get swaths of troop troops wiped out. He's, like, th you know, having to use a bunch of his weapons. He gets weakened. Iskandar gets close. I honestly thought they were going to, like, grievously wound each other, which then would have set up... And then Saber would have gotten grievously wounded with Berserker. And then that would have set up Saber and Gilgamesh as not in a position to fight so that Kyure and Emiya could have a 1v1, in a sense, right? And then that'd be really dramatic. But... Right now, Gilgamesh is untouched. I mean, he's used his big... He's used his super stick and some, like, swords and chains and stuff. But he is pretty... It doesn't seem that he got that, you know? It's going to go, like, low diffed, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? He, he like... He actually got loaded because because dude, Gilgamesh had an answer to everything. He had an answer to the, oh no, reality marble. I got just the thing. Oh no, he's charging me. Pew, 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 pew. Oh no, he's next to me. Chains. Like he had an answer for everything. So I don't know. I don't think he's that tapped. And Saber's going to be really tapped both mentally, like her willpower with dealing with Lancelot, because now she's doubting herself and everything she's done. So she's got willpower tapped. Plus she's going to, she's fighting a ton. So she's going to be tapped. Emmy and Saber in no condition. Yeah, I mean, it's just a Kide victory unless Emiya does something insane or Saber does something insane. I just think it's a Kide victory. Or maybe Ki like Kide and Gilgamesh have a last minute falling out, right? Where Gilgamesh is like, huh, but as a king, I I am no servant to anybody. And then kills Kide or something, right? Like, like there could be a last minute fallout. That, but like, bro, we're hoed. Oh my goodness. Y'all are... I, I hate y'all. I don't actually hate y'all, but... To know that I have been literally, like, slobbering over Iskandar the entire time. I, it's been obvious. I love Iskandar. To know that y'all knew episode 23 was coming and to just wipe him off the face of the earth like that. I can't believe y'all. Y'all have probably been like, oh, he, this guy. It was a sure. It's just the Shirley emoji. This guy doesn't know. This guy doesn't know. This guy doesn't know. Yeah, dude, these are such death flags to end, dude. Come to think of it, there's something I wanted to ask you. He's saying this now because he's not going to get another chance. So he's saying, like, I wanted to ask you this because I won't get another chance. Would you like to serve as one of my subjects? You you are my king. I will serve you with everything that I have. Please show me the way. Let me see your dream. I almost would have wanted Waver to be like, we're equals, brother. But, like, like to be a servant of Iskandar isn't, like, like, it really is, like, uniting the dreams. That, that really is what it... Like, that's how Gilgamesh put it. I really like that phrasing. So, it really does feel like it's uplifting everyone. The rising tide raises all ships, right? Um, and then Is Iskandar obviously cares about Waver, so he says, live on, right? And then Gilgamesh is like, what, you're not going to kill me? Tests his loyalty. He's like, that's some good loyalty right there, Waver. Good job. Because he was kind of, you know... Waver held true to this command, bro. Live a long life and speak of it, of your king, of how Iskandar charged for Earth. Now, let's go... Bukefalis. Bukefalis. That's the name of the horse. Ah, I'm just gonna. We, I just gotta. Re, I gotta go through every one of his lines in because I'm not gonna get to do this again. I'm not gonna get to look at Iskandar's lines again. So this is all I got now. Except actually, maybe not. I'll get to that. Glory lies beyond the horizon. Challenge it because it is unreachable. Speak of conquest and demonstrate it for the sake of my subjects who watch behind me. And then he's like. Damn, bro, the chains, really? Have you awakened from your dream, King of Conquerors? Indeed, I have. This campaign has been very exciting. Feel free to challenge me as many times as you like. This entire world is my garden until the end of time. Thus, I can guarantee this, you will never tire of it. That, I really actually like for Iskandar's character. Um, it, Because that's all Iskandar wants, bro. All he wants is to... Like, what was his wish if he got the Grail? Or, like, it, or I, I think it was, yeah, he wanted the grail so that he could wish to live more. Not as a spirit, but, like, as flesh again, right? I think that was his wish. And then, he, but more specifically, when they were talking about his, like, history lineage, it was, the entire point was kind of, like, Iskandar was saying, 
like all my name in history only means so much. I would give all of this away if it meant I got to live 10 more years, right? He said something like that. All Iskandar wants is more life. And that is, I, I, I am, I love that philosophy. I love that life philosophy. I think that is such a good mentality, right? That's like almost the perfect mentality, if not the perfect mentality for me right now, like, like in my opinion, you know? And so for Gilgamesh to say, you know, and bro has, bro has proven himself as pretty much the, the guy. I'm going to be honest. Gilgamesh is kind of the guy. I had the horrible thought midway through this episode. Hmm, what has Gilgamesh gotten to really show off? He's flown around and fought with like Berserker on a plane, but he hasn't actually gotten to like, yeah, I guess he t dealt with the assassin way back. I was like, hmm, Gilgamesh really hasn't shown his full, full repertoire, huh? That's not good because that means his is going to be used to show off his repertoire. Which is what happened um, with the new stick that just said, oh, no, no, you don't get to be alive. But but this line of, feel free to challenge me as many times as you like, I can guarantee this, you will never tire of it. It's saying, like, you can always come back and you'll never get tired. That's all Iskandar wants, to never for it to not end. So for it, him to never tire of it is exactly what Iskandar is looking for. So this is kind of goaded. This is kind of goaded. And I like how they respect each other. You know, I've been saying that. And then this line, the pounding of my heart was the sound of O'Connor. Ooh, ooh, Okeanos' waves. Whoa. Whoa, because that kind of like, he was always chasing. He was always going towards that. But that means that his dream that he thought was external was actually internal. It was actually the pounding of his heart. Whoa, bro. That's even perfecter. That's even better. Because it was, yeah, because it's like, it being an external thing you're chasing is one thing, but if you realize that it's it within yourself, isn't that just the coolest thing you've ever heard? Hmm? Hmm? My dream? It's... Oh my goodness, I just had the craziest mind blast. Moana. It's Moana. Iskandar is Moana. Trust me. Is my phone about to die? It's at 2%. Holy crap. Uh, uh, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. It's, uh, it's, it's literally, it's literally Moana. Um, what's the name of that? It's the reprise. Um, no, 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 it's not the reply. It's, um, it's, a, give me a second. Open up Google. Open up Google. Google, 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 Google. Um, uh, the, na, 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 One second. I, I promise this is more. It's from I Am Moana's Song of the Ancestors. I'm spoiling Moana right now. I don't care. It's the line from Moana. It's the best part of the Moana movie, okay? And you're probably thinking I'm crazy right now. It also has a, it literally, this is so good because it also, oh my goodness. Moana was inspired by Fate Zero Iskandar. I'm not joking here because it also has to do with water. The line from Moana, it's the best part of Moana. It's why Moana is an S tier movie despite it having horrible pacing. The quote, and the call isn't out there at all. It's inside me. It's like the tide always falling and rising, okay? I don't care it's a Disney song. I don't care. It's peak, okay? The call wasn't out there. It was inside me. And then it has to do with waves. That's exactly what happens here. Holy shit. My favorite part of that movie is Iskandar's arc. That's so perfect. Because <laughs> it's the call wasn't out there at all. It was inside me. The sound of Oconos' waves was actually within me. The pounding of my heart. <laughs> Holy crap. That is so good. It's, oh my goodness. Iskandar is Moana. My goodness. Gilgamesh, what is wrong with you? Why do you have an EA stick? What is this? Bro's got a spaceship plus a super stick that just hacks into spiritual energy and says no more and also serves as a spear? He also runs it through his chest. Like, that's so rude. My goodness. And I love the death charge. That's so crazy though. Sorry, that really is a mind blast for me because that is one of, that is like such a, that is like a, that unironically is like a mini, that's like one of the lines of all time in my head. And so to see it like done again, but like, you know, better obviously because of Skondar, um, just is so perfect. I absolutely love that. Now I can replace it. Now I can, I can give the same sentiment, but instead of quoting Moana, I can quote Fate Zero and that's way cooler. So we're lit. Ah, oh, man. And then what is, he's like, it, we're armed. So he's saying like, what if we arm my troops with your treasures? Wouldn't we be able to do so much? Is he kind of saying like, let's be co-kings in a sense? 
You know, I mean, why don't we become allies? And then he says, there's no need for two kings. Ah, the lonely path of kingship, you know? And so it's kind of funny. I feel like it's, I wonder if Iskandar is saying this because he's been influenced by Waver a little bit, right? Because Waver's entire thing was like checking his pride, right? I wonder if Iskandar in a sense has kind of been like, like he's kind of gotten a little more realistic seeing how, like Waver had to get real, you know? So maybe Iskandar, you know, has been like, let's get a little real, you know? And in, in, in I feel like there's kind of a code thing going on there. Which I quite like. And then bad mentality, though, from Iskandar here. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say how it is. I could hardly be unfriendly to him. He may be. He may well be the last opponent I'll face. Brother, you can't be. I know it's, it sounds like you're putting respect on his name, but you're letting, you're letting failure get into your brain. You're letting defeat, your death, enter your brain. That's risky behavior, bro. That sounds like a debuff more than it sounds like a buff in the fight, right? I mean, you don't want to be, like, you obviously want to be cautious, but... Don't be stupid. You can't possibly be killed. I won't allow it. Have you forgotten about my command spells? And he's like, ah, you're right. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, like, Iskandar backs off of it. He's like, you call, he, Waver calls him out for that. <sighs> our enemy is the mighty king of heroes, a worthy of opponent. Let's show the eldest heroic spirit our path of conquest. <sighs> oh. I'm just, dude. We're so hoed. The good ending has been lost. Um, Kirei's gonna win. Dude, what else even do I talk about, bro? Lancelot? What happened here, man? I mean, is it really... Because she does say... I really liked how she thought about Iskandar's words, too. You saved your subjects, but you never led them. That's some good shit, bro. I love moments like that in fiction, bro. Where it's like, you think... Like, someone says something... And then later, the the person they has true. You can tell that they internalized it because they repeat it to themselves, right? They remember what was said. That is so cool because it what it does it, it shows character development. It shows character growth. But what it also does, it does two things at the same time. It also puts respect on the person's name because when this is said, I remember Iskandar and I love Iskandar. So this makes me feel good about Iskandar. It's me thinking like. Dang, Iskandar's words are actually hitting for Saber. And as an Iskandar lover, that makes me really like the moment even more, you know? So it, it puts respect on the character's name that's being recalled, and it also shows character growth for the character that's recalling. It's such a good narrative tool. It's such a good narrative tool. I never oh, and then she says, because I never led them. Ugh, the self-doubt's risky though, bro. Wait, Alt E. Alt Oh shit. Alt E. Bring it back. You are bound by the false idol of a king who serves others but not himself. My ideal is my kingship. Have they driven you to this state? Uh... Saber really is getting hoed here, bro. The problem is Lancelot, Lancelot can't... Like, like low-key, I'm gonna just say it. Low-key, this isn't even why Lancelot is as messed up as he is. Maybe Lancelot is messed up for other reasons... But she, he can't tell her. So she's just left stewing in her own self-doubt that Iskandar, you know, pumped into her paws. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah. Basically, this was the largest L I think I've ever taken in my entire life. Um, Live on, Waver. I really hope Waver gets to continue being a character. Oh, uh, let me talk about all this nonsense. So th this is just... Yay, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I need to... I'm looking that up in, air, in quotes. Um, though I walk through... Yeah, what is this? Oh, it's a... It's 23... Psalm 23.4. It's a Bible quote. Oh my goodness, Chad. <laughs> I was about to say, like... Okay, was this... Oh my goodness, it's actually... Ver it's a different translation than, when I'm look the one that, than the one I'm looking at, but yeah, it's a quote. Well, let me look at the King James. Um... Oh my... The context, okay. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me bes beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointeth my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me in all, all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe Emmy was Bible quoting. He restores my show. Yeah, I mean, this was this is great. Um, I especially liked how the, the visuals were following what was being said. <laughs> I 
Waver loses, and then we get Bible quoted. <laughs> While everyone's freaking out. It's so over. It's like, it's crazy too, because it's so ironic. It's so ironic coming from Kire here, you know? And then him saying this, thou prepareth, preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. And what has Kire done? He prepared a table right here with Eerie on it. See, I'm glad he's using Eerie as a pawn in his games. I was going to be really annoyed. I, th I feel like it would have been a waste of potential if he just left her body down in the freaking Ryanosuke, like, child-killing lair, you know? This, yes, cook with it, you know? Put it in a theater, make it into spectacle. That's, like, your entire thing right now. Yeah, so he's doing this in, like, an ironic, ironic sense, right? Because he's just trolling and having a good time at this point. The sea at the world's edge. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I didn't fully finish reading that and like actually think. I'm glad I didn't try to think about the title before the episode because this title is an Iskandar death flag. Because it's, the t if the title has to do with your character specifically, your character is dead. You know what I mean? This is such an obvious. Like, dude, if I read this, The Sea at the World's Edge, I'd be like, hmm, an Iskandar focused episode. Uh oh. You know? I'm Yeah, really gl good I didn't focus on that. I, I don't know if I would have put it together, but it definitely is not a good look. Yeah. So, like, how do heroic spirits work? Can he come back? Because the whole thing of, like, challenge my garden again kind of gives me a feeling of, like, you will live on, in a sense, heroic spirit. You know? But with the whole chalice, holy grail thing, I kind of thought they were being used as fuel, in a sense. So I'm a little, I guess I, I probably shouldn't even know yet, right? I guess I don't, I, I don't know. They haven't told me and we don't really know much about heroic spirits at this point in the story, but it, it, the way Gilgamesh was speaking made me kind of think that we could bring him back. Um, however, it, you know, I don't know if that's actually a possibility. So yeah, it's also, yeah. Okay. Well. I'm kind of out of things to say. I, 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 I'm just, I'm just, it's a GG. It's a GG. Um, I think I, I do. I'm really curious to see if Kire doesn't win. I think Gilgamesh would have to betray him or Saber somehow wins and then can beat Gilgamesh. But like how, you know, Excalibur, bro. He's got like 30 Excaliburs in his garage. Okay. I like, he's got a Excaliburs older than Excalibur in his garage. And he's going to just be like, eh. He's gonna throw him at you, bro. He doesn't have to hold back anymore if you're the last one, if you beat Lancelot. Because I think she'll beat Lancelot, injured, lose to Gilgamesh. I don't see- I just- I don't know how she would win against Gilgamesh. Especially when Emiya is not going to be a- like, they don't have Bond. Maybe he does a freaking million IQ, like, command spell, plus, like, some prep. And then he can turn the table on, like, Kire somehow. But it's pretty much the nightmare from the beginning of the show. Where he- he- basically the entire point, the entire time was- Emio was literally pissing his pants the entire- has been pissing his pants the entire show going, please, I don't want to deal with Kire. And Iri has kept being like, the one person he doesn't want to deal with is Kire. Please, let's make sure this doesn't happen. That's all Iri has been searing, saying the entire season. Guess what? It happened. And we don't have anything to stop it. I thought Iskandar was going to be our, our ticket out. Iskandar has failed. It's over. We're dead. Um, at least Iskandar went out, you know, smiling, I guess. At least Waver's alive. Shout out Waver for that. That's all I got for this one. Under the next. Uh, I don't know if next episode's gonna be a solo or a double, but within a week and a half, we will be done with Fate Fridays, bro. Or will we? Let me know in the comments if y'all uh, have any future Fate things that y'all are looking for, you know? I'll give us some thought. I could be intrigued to keep going with the series a little bit, but I don't know. No promises. No promises. There's a lot of good shows out there, but that's all I got for this one. Under the next episode, 24, maybe 25. I'll be seeing you then. Of course, of course, of course. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you are new, blah, blah, blah. Comment down below if you have anything to say or join the Discord and talk to me or other fate fans there. But until then, until the next episode, that's it. I will be seeing you then. Peace.